Hello everyone, this is the first video for our upcoming series on using Firebase with Noah. We will cover a lot of things from connecting your Firebase project to your Noah app, to using Firebase authentication like Google sign in and email and password and OTB, to using Firestore and setting up the schema for the database and building advanced queries and showing them in the UI and also adding data to the database. So here we will cover the first step, which is creating a Firebase project and connecting it to your app in Noah. So the first step is we need to go to the console of Firebase. And after you we sign in, you, we need to create a Firebase project. Now, I already created a new account to have a fresh start. So here I will type the name for my project and I will call it Noah Test App. And here I don't want to have analytics in the project. And here Firebase will create the project for me and I need to wait up to a minute almost. Okay, so now Firebase is almost done, is actually done creating the project. And now I can click on continue. And here I can see the console of my project. Now here, the first step usually is to create apps for the platforms that you want to deploy your app to. So for example, if you're creating a Flutter app and you want to deploy it to Android, then here you have to create an Android app inside the project. Same thing for web and iOS. But you don't need to do any of that because Noah will do all of this for you. So let's go back to Noah. And then here inside my project, I'm going to actually close the panel here. I will go to settings and click on Firebase and connect uh, with, uh, sign with sign in to my account so I can connect it to my project. And here I'm going to choose my email and that will give Noah permission to view the projects uh, on Firebase. And then here I can come back to far to Noah and then I can see the project that I just created. Now I'll click on it. And then here because Noah will try to see if you already have apps inside the project with the same package name. And if it couldn't find ones, it will then offer you the option to create ones. So if I click on connect apps, then Noah will create Android, iOS and web apps and connect them and also set up the config file inside the project. Now, if you already created before uh, apps with the same package name, Noah will not create new apps. It will just reuse the same apps you have. But since I have a completely uh, new project, then Noah just created compl uh, complete new apps and connected, it to them, connected them to my app. So now if we go back to, to the console Firebase and, okay, let's just change the, choose the account that I just used and I go back to the app, I will actually see the apps that I just created. And also be aware that in the project detail you have a package name. And if you change later the package name, you need to also update the apps and the config files. All right, so now let's go to this section. So if you will use authentication in your app, then you need to en enable authentication here and also inside Firebase. So let's say if you, if you uh, enable the authentication here, Noah will add the, 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 the functions that you will need for the authentication to your project. But also, you need to enable it from the uh, project inside Firebase. So if I click on here, on Setup Firebase, okay, I need to actually just, if you have this problem, then you probably sign in in another account. And here, it will just get me to the authentication page. And if I get uh, click on Get Started, I can then enable the authentication. And here inside, I need, I need to enable the providers. So when I go back to Noah, I also need here to add the providers that I will need. Because doing that from Noah will add their own functionality inside your project. So let's say I want to add email and password, and also I want to add Google. But here, it says that you need to enable it first inside Firebase. So let's go back to Firebase. I want to enable here the email and password, and I also need to add a new provider, which is the, let's say, the Google sign-in. And then I can, uh, I will need to have like an email for support, and then I can click on save. And then here I then enable the providers of email and password, and also Google on Firebase, and also inside Node. So we're gonna wait a little bit, okay, until uh, the, the, the apps are created. All right. I mean, for the providers to be added. And then here now, when I click on Google, 
then I will wait a little bit and then the uh, it will be added to my project so good so now uh, again you have to be sure that whatever you enable here inside Noah it should also be enabled inside your project on in, on Firebase so now I enabled the authentication I added the providers and here in this last section uh, we need to add the SHA fingerprint and this is only for Android so if you will deploy an app to Android and this app uses Google sign in you need to add something called SHA certificate fingerprint to the Firebase project and then how you can get this fingerprint click on setup and here you see that you will have to uh, actually run a command on the Android key that you will use to sign the app and this command will generate the SHA fingerprint and then by adding it here it will automatically add it inside Firebase now you can add it from here but you can also go to Firebase to the project and add it from there here it will just make it easy for you if you add it here it will just uh, put it inside your project and you can actually uh, now for the for the debug mode you will don't have to do anything but before you release your app to the store you need to get the key that you used to sign the app and then here extract from this command extract the key and then add it to the project otherwise it will it will not work so this is like for security reasons okay that's it so now we have the setup done for Firebase now the next step is to go for the authentication and see how we can use it and this will be for the upcoming video thanks for watching